I want to illustrate one element I think has transformed the Knicks defense over the last week. What the injection of Deuce McBride means to this defense. And I want to illustrate it through two plays. One against the second half, one in the second half collapse against Dallas that put Tibbs on the hot seat that put Knicks fans into a frenzy. Um, uh, one of the Tim Hardaway threes in the third quarter. And then I'm going to compare it to a, to a play that Deuce made in the Kings game in the win. Here's the Mavs play. So we're, they're running a Spain pick and roll Hardaway as the back screener. He's going to be, end up with the ball. Doncic orchestrating from the top Powell setting the screen here Grimes gets screened the Knicks often like to switch to Spain pick and roll which means that Brunson who is guarding the back screener is going to now guard Luka which means that Grimes recovers to the shooter but this leaves a mismatch Luka and Brunson Grimes is going to come over and help which is generally how Tibbs likes to deal with these types of matchups when there's a mismatch in the post The job here of RJ, who's one shooter away, is to read this double coming and recover. Ball's already on the floor. RJ hasn't really started to move yet. That is so much space for a shot, and that illustrates kind of the lack of attention to detail and anticipation from Nick's closeouts early in the season. Now here's the contrast. And I want to show you what Deuce McBride means to this defense and what generally the attention to detail, the anticipation means to a defense in terms of contesting three-point shots. Very different type of play here. There's no double team, but you'll see how the circumstances are kind of similar. So Grimes is going to chase Herter off the initial screen, stays so close on his hip, by the way, which is just what he does. Quickly with the right closeout forcing baseline, not allowing the three. Mitch now in help. Leave Sabonis open. Grimes is covering Herter, as we saw before. He's going to rotate the Sabonis on time. Look how how easily he anticipates that pass, and he's right there. Now, his man is abandoned. Just like before, where he doubled down onto Doncic, his man was abandoned and got a wide-open three. Here, his man's abandoned again. R.J. Barrett, once again, finds himself one pass away. This is technically his responsibility, but he's still really far into the paint here. Again, just a little bit late, a little bit unaware. Now, Deuce McBride was guarding the corner, okay? Not his responsibility here. And look at his stance already. Look at that anticipation. He sees this. He knows what's coming. RJ doesn't necessarily. It doesn't matter because look who beats RJ here towards this closeout. Now, there's a lot of space, but watch Deuce close it down. Now that is a contest. 